All right, some latest news which is coming in. Terrorists fired upon uh, a joint Naka party of the police uh, CRPF in Bijbehara area of Anantnag. In this terror incident, one police personnel got injured who was immediately evacuated and taken to hospital for treatment. Area has been cordoned off and the search operations are in progress. There's a gun attack that has happened in Anantnag. My colleague Mufti Isla with us on the broadcast to get us more details on the story. Mufti, tell us more about this. Well, uh, Bijwara is in Anantak district. What was happening was that the CRPF and policemen, they were deputed to Leonaka in an area called Bijwara. And uh, this was next to the Dara Shuku Park, where Mufti Mohammed Said, the former chief minister, is buried. And uh, when all of a sudden a militant came, he fired on the posse of policemen as well as CRPF. One policeman was injured uh, near this place called Kurkadal in Bijwara. And what happened thereafter was he was quickly taken to the hospital. You have those visuals also now. Uh, the area has been sealed. More contingents of CRPF and police have come in to search that area, including that huge park, hmm. which is called the Dara Shaku Park. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we're picking up from the sources that he continues to be critical and has been taken to Anantnag Hospital, where doctors are attending to him. Having said that, this is the second attack which has taken place in last 14 hours because in the evening last night only, at around 12.20 in the midnight, a labor was attacked in Bandipur district. Hmm. He, however, succumbed to his wounds. Now we're picking up that uh, he's been uh, taken to Bihar. In fact, some time back, police and government made arrangements that his body should be shifted to Bihar. So two incidents within a span of 14 hours uh, at a time when the state, uh, rather erstwhile state, is preparing for Independence Day celebrations. So clearly... Uh, you know, heavy deployment, but somehow we've seen that breaches in security taking place now and then. Um, that's the point I wanted to speak to you about, Mufti, that there's, there, there is heightened security ahead of the Independence Day. And this is the second incident you're saying has been reported in the last 14 hours. Has there been any consistent modus operandi that the t these terrorists have been using? I think we've seen in this particular week, uh, there have been a lot of attacks, be it Rajori, where... A Fidain a group attempted to breach an army uh, fortification where ultimately two Fidains were killed, but the army also took a lot of damage in the sense that four army personnel uh, got killed. Uh, before that, in Bargam, we saw encounter breaking out in which three militants of Lashkar, including the one who was mastermind uh, in the execution of two, uh, Rahul Bhatta Kashmiri Pandit, as well as Amrina Bhatta TikToker, uh, who were killed. He was actually gunned down in that Vargam encounter. And since yesterday, as I said, two incidents which have taken place, one in Bandipur, where a labor was uh, uh, killed, and this one, a cop in South Kashmir, Bijwara, uh, where he got critically injured and taken to the hospital. All in all, this is taking place at a time when there is heightened security. Unprecedented levels of security have been put across the Kashmir Valley so that there are no disruptions to Independence Day celebrations. Having said that, there have been a lot of flag raising which have taken place, but it seems that it is irritating the militants who are out to carry out attacks. In fact, uh, uh, since since last couple of days, militants have been really issuing circulars uh, in the sense that, uh, well, uh, if people uh, are forcibly uh, led to fly, for that matter, an air tricolor, then they're going to target uh, people. At the same time, uh, this is a threat which they're continuing, uh, saying that uh, whoever comes from outside, who would he will be targeted because uh, there, there's this, uh, you know, threat of uh, changing the demographic uh, mm. demo demography of of this place. So we've seen a periodic kind of releases from the militants on social media wherein outsiders are really threatened. Mm. However, as I said, two incidents today took place. One where a labor, non-local non labor was uh, killed, mm. and this one, a local policeman shot at and injured. Thank you, Mufti, for getting us all the details. Some more breaking news.